Okay, continuing on. Um, why God delivers people over. So, with this understanding, let's look at this section in Romans. It talks about how the wrath of God is revealed from heaven against, against the ungodliness of men who suppress the truth in unrighteousness and exchange the truth of God for a lie. How is that wrath revealed? Here the lake of fire is not in view, but sin's impact on culture as God delivers men over or gives them up to unclean desires. Why does he do this? Romans 1 just seems so awful. Men go crazy because God has given them up to do so. Why does he let man why does he let men go this far? It's because they are puffed up in their pride. It is only through debasement and humiliation that they'll ever come to an end of themselves so that there might be a hope that they would be saved by faith. Amen. God desires genuinely that everyone would be saved. 1 Timothy 2.4 His righteousness is revealed in the gospel. Peace on earth and goodwill toward men. Luke 2.14 God's intention is that as many people as possible would be saved. However, men genuinely fall or fell. The problem with mankind is that they know the truth, but they suppress it in their unrighteousness. The wrath is against those who don't believe the gospel. God wants for the truth to come out and for us to see who we really are. Therefore, he lets people go off course so that they are eventually manifested in their actions as being worthy of wrath. This is for a purpose. God is not just doing this out of anger because he hates someone. Everything is teaching. Everything is training. Everything is motivated by love in the hope that some would come to their senses like the prodigal son. The prodigal son was delivered over after a manner of speaking. He went down to waste his inheritance on riotous living. And before you know it, he was delivered over and found himself begging for pig slop. Then he said, gosh, if only I could just be a servant in my father's house, it would be better than this. What happened? He came to his senses. It is quite possible to come to your senses, but sometimes you have to bottom out. Interventionists that deal with drug addictions know that sometimes you have to wait for people to drown. Not only that, but sometimes it would be better if they would drown a little faster. There is the example of someone standing by a lifeguard watching someone drown in the lake and he says to the lifeguard why won't you go save him the lifeguard answers because he's still kicking as long as he's still kicking i have to wait or he'll just drag me down with drag me down with him i have to wait until he's exhausted i have to wait until he's spent and is starting to sink and then i can go grab his limp body to drag him into sa- drag him into be safe and then i can really save him that's kind of what is working here in romans 1 from what i understand someone might disagree with me but if you see the wrath of god please understand that it is god god is love god is light god is holy god is righteous His righteousness is revealed in the gospel, and his light is revealed in the Son. Amen. His holiness is revealed in the blood of Jesus Christ that was offered up to sprinkle us. Amen. His righteousness was vindicated in that he can pass over our sins righteously and forgive us because of the work of Christ. Amen. It all comes down 
excuse me, it all comes together in Christ. You have to look at God in the person of Jesus Christ if you are to know him. Amen. How we perceive God is the crux of the issue of humanity. God is manifested in the person of Jesus Christ. Amen. Jesus said, no one has ever seen the Father except the only begotten Son, who is in the bosom of the Father, has revealed him. John 1, 17. Before Christ came, God was a mystery and a consuming fire dwelling in unapproachable light. You can't get close to God except in the person of Jesus Christ. It is not polluted the way our wrath is. Now we do know that he is going to come in his wrath and his garments are going to be stained with the blood of his enemies. Isaiah 63, 1. However, that will be the end of an age where all the transgressions have reached their full. I think he meant to say fullness. Um, anyway, people will have been given absolutely every opportunity every, under every circumstance to repent and to believe the gospel. They won't believe, believe because of the hardness of their heart. It will grieve God and he will have to wipe the tears off people's faces after Jesus accomplishes that great work and executes his judgment. Revelation 21.4 even that will be according to his nature. Just keep in mind, when you see the wrath of God, that you temper it with the person of Jesus Christ and what he exhibits on, what he exhibits of God's character. Amen. I'm not talking about universalism. I don't believe everyone is going to be saved. I believe that the wrath of God is really revealed against unrighteousness and ungodliness and we are heirs of wrath by nature when we are born into this world amen once our conscience starts functioning we start suppressing the truth a functioning conscience in an unbeliever is just another way for them to lie to themselves the conscience accuses them and then their mind develops Lies to suppress the voice of their conscience so that they can justify themselves apart from the justification that only Christ can provide. They want to look righteous, but they don't want God's righteousness. They don't want the blood. They don't want the gospel. They don't want Jesus Christ. They are holding the truth in unrighteousness and the wrath of God is revealed from heaven against this unrighteousness because that which can be known of God is manifested in them for God has shown it it has shown it to them it is important to understand that while man does not perceive God correctly it is because man has deliberately deceived himself he suppresses truth that he already knows in unrighteousness when we preach the gospel to someone, we often come from the weak standpoint of thinking that we need to convince them of something that they don't know. We think we need to bring them all this new information and convince them. It would be more powerful if we understood that they do know and what we need to do is awaken their conscience to what they already know and speak to that which already registers as true in them. Amen. There is already a knowledge of God in mankind. They know there is a judgment to come. They know the wrath of God is revealed against the ungodly and the unrighteous who do certain things. They know that God is real. However, they deny it through unrighteousness and suppress the truth. They know that the invisible things of the creation are clearly seen, being understood by the things that are made. Even his eternal power and Godhead, they are without excuse. Amen.